the Sun Devils entered Thursday's game 1-0 in Pac-12 play, ready to host the Colorado Buffaloes, who entered the match with a top three offense and defense. They had scored 32 goals and only allowed three through their first 10 matches of the season. Early on, it seemed like ASU would help pad Colorado's stats, as loose defense in the box led to a 14th minute goal from the visitors. The Devils had chances, but Buffalo goalie Jalen Tompkins was not ready to give up her shutout streak that started the day at 543 minutes long. After halftime, ASU had something to say about that. It felt really good. Um, I knew Gemma was trying to hit where I was running, so it was just easy. She played a great ball. Just kind of it. The rest of the half saw several chances go begging as Tompkins stuffed the devil attackers. Defensively, ASU put in an organized and physical effort with tackles all over the field. Colorado's Barton Tatum, who came into the game second in the country in goals, was not allowed a single shot on target. I feel like we were solid, solid in the back, solid in the mid. Um, whenever they were coming at us for a counter, we were dropping, staying compact, and our mids were coming back and covering for us. To overtime, the contest went and ASU continued to create chance, after chance, after chance, until time ran out. I think we were very unfortunate not to win today. I believe we were the better team, and I thought we were absolutely fantastic from start to finish. We're, we're disappointed because it feels like a bit of a loss because we wanted to win that game, but at the same time, very proud of every single person who stepped on the field today because the performance was fantastic. The Sun Devils had a real opportunity at beating the number 18 team in the country here at Sun Devil Soccer Stadium. But converting on only one of their 13 shots on target, kept them from collecting all three points. The Sun Devils at the pitch next, Sunday at 1 p.m. against Utah. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Tyler Mannion.